Hi, um, I've got five minutes left. I've tried this several times and I've been having battery problems and any number of other issues that have prevented me from finishing, but I need to finish um, and get this uploaded. Um, where I'd left off was our, my conversation with Chelsea at the, um, the supervisor at the staffing, um, the staffing agency that provides the employees to Prime Distribution uh, Services, PDS. Um, and to make a long story short, um, she, her assertion that uh, she was not contacted was not credible. Um, the police have been, uh, these dirty detectives have been smearing me for ever since I arrived. Um, the conclusion of our conversation was that she would contact me after she had uh, uh, discovered more information about the email from Cameron, um, Jeremy's assistant, and, um, but she never did call me back. Um, she also did, uh, I also was able to go back to the primary reason that I had contacted her and I wanted to give her a, a thank you for um, uh, uh, filling out the form that the housing agent needed um, in order to um, get me approved. So I appreciate that so much. Um, I, won't, I contacted her, we spoke at about 10.30 in the morning, and she never did call me back. So I called her back in the afternoon at about 2.30 and left a message and then texted her the, the contents of my voice message. She didn't return it for another couple of hours, and, um, and then it was this, this unusual message. Um, it said, uh, um, if you didn't do anything wrong, you have nothing to worry about because in my previous message I said I hadn't heard from her and I was concerned, um, you know, and she didn't call me back. So so when I got her message, <clears throat> uh, that message I responded back and I said, well, you know, I appreciate that, but did you find out any information? Should I go into work tomorrow? And she said no. Um, and, well, the text that she got was the, uh, the text that I received. No, you will not be returning. They are cutting due lack of work. That's simply not credible. From the moment I worked there, uh, started to work there uh, a couple of months ago, I've been working 60 hours a week for the first three weeks and then 50 hours a week for the weeks thereafter, and it's only been in the last couple that they've cut down to a 40-hour work week. Um, and then they'll be gearing back up. They distribute fru food, and so before it was uh, ramping up for the uh, uh, Thanksgiving holiday, and now they're ramping up for Christmas. Um, they're continuing to hire p uh, people. In fact, they hired, um, I was just talking to someone last night that they had recently hired. They're continuing to hire. This was a uh, manufactured or just some, uh, it was a false pretext to discharge me uh, based on their desire to get rid of me being empoisoned by the authorities and them working in collusion. And me, I was under threat of being fired the entire time I was there. <laughs> They wanted. They weren't able to prevent. The dirty cops weren't able to prevent me from getting the job because I got it through the auspices of a family member. But from day one, that was the that was the scheme. And from day one, I was put under this enormous pressure, which, you know, was exacerbated last night. Uh, there was no outbreak or outburst, as I said. But um, but now I guess I I. I'm moving into an apartment uh, tomorrow, um, unfurnished, and I have no furniture. It's in a bad part of town. Um, the, injury, the injuries are just piling up. I'm going to have to try and find some work here pretty quick, but also it's going to give me some time to complete that, that uh, complaint because I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to yield. I will be filing that complaint. I will be getting in front of a judge. I will be bringing these criminals with badges to justice. I have done nothing wrong. I've done nothing that I'm ashamed of. I have been, I have been abused, and I have been lied about and lied to, and it's time for it to stop, and it's going to stop. Um, again, I'm putting out a plea for anyone that might know an Indianapolis lawyer or someone who knows um, a, a civil rights law, constitutional law, or um, even criminal law, because they would know how these dirty cops work. Um, I'm not a lawyer, and I'm doing the best I can to get in front of a judge, but, you know, to move forward with the case, I'm, I'm pretty certain I'm going to need a lawyer. Um, what they're doing is wrong. It's shockingly wrong, and um, 
and I don't really have a lot more to say 